Shegen Jaguna is at the UDA flag bearer for the Kandara constituency by election that's scheduled for the 5th of January next year. Jaguna emerged the winner in the party's primaries held yesterday. Now, for Mamarakwet West MP William Kipsang will also fly the UDA flag in the Elgeo Marakwet senatorial seat. Marakwet County, former Marakwet West MP William Kisang won the UDA party ticket for the Senate race. Kisang was declared winner by the UDA County Returning Officer Nicodemus Bore after garnering 28,136 votes. Mm -hmm. Timothy Kipchumba and Jonathan Tanui tied at the second position. In Moranga County, Chege and Jaguna clinched the UDA party ticket after garnering 7,826 votes in the race for Kandara constituency parliamentary seat. He was followed by Titus Njau in the second position with 5,335 votes. Stephen Maura came third with 4,414. James Kamau took the fourth position with 2,191 and Evelyn Waidera got 1,267 at number five. <laughs> In Gariza County, Defense CS Adhan Duale declared his backing for Major Retired Deco Mohammed as the UDA party candidate for the Gariza Township parliamentary seat. He's speaking during an endorsement event in Gariza County, which brought together political leaders, elders, professionals. The CS urged locals to give the code the same support they had given him in the past four elections. election, Yataretano, Mwezi wa January 2023. Mimi nawambia wakazi wa Gariza, ambayo wamenechagua katika maraine, na katika vyama ambaye tulikuwa na mwezi wa rais ikiti tafadhali mujenge mheshimiwa deko former leader of the majority party has served as Gariza Township MP for three terms and was nominated to the cabinet a month into his fourth term prompting him to resign deko came third in the august gubernatorial contest in Gariza County will face off UDM's Nasir Dolal who lost to Dwale in the parliamentary contest in the august election <laughs> my brother mheshimiwa duale kwa kuleta jamii yangu pamoja ili tukue na one candidate kwa hii election ya by election ya 2013 they thank the leaders for backing him for the january 5th 2023 by election and pledge to support the people and the government in implementing its agenda